right, Sports Lab and ATO Sports and Fitness channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way before there's any confusion. After I've calmed down, my feelings are the exact same. I do not waver on how I felt, how I feel. I believe Raheem Morris is doomed to fail here with the Falcons and is a terrible hire. Bill Belichick should have been the guy. Okay, but he's our head coach. I'm an Atlanta Falcons fan. I have to ride with whatever dumb decision Arthur Blank makes. And I'm going to go on record. I saw on Twitter, Raheem Morris is the first black coach, I guess officially head coach, not like Emmett Thomas, you know, in term, in term, or whatever you want to call it, or Raheem Morris' first time taking over. He's the first official black coach, head coach of the Atlanta Falcons history. That's great. But to me, it's not about color. It's not about race. It's about winning titles. Okay, so before anybody pops on here, Terry Fontenot, like what, the Falcons' first black general manager or first black GM, that's great. It's not about color or race. It's about winning Super Bowls. So let's go ahead and clarify that right now. I do not dislike Raheem Morris. I'm happy that he gets a chance to be a full-time head coach, but it shouldn't have been with us. You have a coach who's been here already and failed. I mean, I heard, well, he failed with lesser talent. Okay, so what does that say about his time in Tampa? He was not a good head coach with Tampa, right? The guy has a 24 and 38 career record as a head coach. 14 games under 500. And we had a chance to get a guy who's won six Super Bowl championships. Right? I also found out on the report today when I woke up, Arthur Blank's statement, it's a groundbreaking, great time in Atlanta organization history to get Raheem Morris back. Why? Exactly how is it? He's a failure as a head coach. I don't care that he's been with us before. I don't care that he's gone through the ranks. I don't care. It's about winning Super Bowl. Yes, he won a couple Super Bowls, I guess, as a defensive coach or wherever the hell he's been. But that's not as a head coach. Every head coach that we have had since Arthur Blank has been here has failed. Never produced a ring. We've already had playoff season. So Raheem Morris gets to the playoffs. whoop the freaking do Is it going to end as a ring? I predict in about three or four years, Raheem Morris will be fired and we will be in the exact same situation and Arthur Blank will sell the team. After this debacle happens, Arthur Blank will sell the team, finally, when he's about almost, what, 85, 84. Do I want Raheem Morris to succeed? Absolutely. If Raheem Morris succeeds, I succeed. Loyal Atlanta Falcon fans succeed. I don't want him to fail. I'm just going on past history. It's like if Bill Belichick was still in New England, right? And he kept making changes, you believe in the changes. Why? Because he always won titles. We don't win titles here. So what else am I supposed to go on? What else, why am I supposed to believe that Raheem Morris is gonna turn everything around? I mean, it could, it has to happen eventually. I hope he does turn it around. I hope we go to the playoffs next year and win a ring. I do. I want to be wrong. But the history since Blank has been here says that his decision making is always wrong. That is what I'm going by. That is what I'm going by. Every decision in Kansas City, people have the right to be positive. Why? Because they're always in the AFC Championship game and or Super Bowl. Because that's their culture of winning. What culture do we have here? It's losing. The Hawks suck ass. We're about ready, probably at some point, going to lose Trey Young and Murray. And I'm going to talk about that at a later date. I swear to God, I think Arthur Blank and the Hawks have a marriage. I think they're married, too. I think it's a menage a trois between McKay, Blank, and the Hawks. But I digress. And then I get this, I read this thing that Arthur Blank says, Rich McKay will no longer uh, have the power that he had. Everybody will answer to Arthur Blank. So why is Bill Belichick not here then? Isn't that what Bill Belichick wanted? To Rich McCain and not have any say in the, 
that, that's why it's just, that's why this makes no sense. Players are coming out saying Raheem Morris is a great hire. Roddy White, Richard Sherman, blah, blah, blah. Exactly why. Tell me why he's a great hire when he's 24 and 38 as a head coach. In his last six games, with this logo on his, ha on his ha hat, he's 0-6. People can say talent was different with the Falcons. Well, he took over Tampa Bay and sucked over there. And thank you, Big D, for reminding me. Raheem Morris, one in five against the Falcons as a head coach with Tampa. One in five. So we're hiring a guy. Falcons hired a guy, blank, that he thought was worse than Arthur Smith, and he canned him after three years. He's hired a guy that's 0-6 in his last six games as a head coach of the Falcons. He's hired a coach that's 24-38 and 38 overall as a head coach. And he's hired a guy that was, as a coach of Tampa, was 1-5 against the Falcons. This, this is, this, I mean, you can't make this up, people. You cannot make this up. The only thing that'll make me change my opinion is if we win a Super Bowl with Raheem Morris. And I don't see it happening. I want to be wrong, but I don't, history says it will not happen. And it's kind of ironic also that everybody out there who was against getting Bill Belichick, I mean, there's so many people that commented, I don't even know who's who. But I would bet a lot of people that did not want Belichick are like, what? We should have got Belichick instead of Raheem Morris. Well, you didn't want Belichick to begin with. But you want to know what? The worst case scenario out of everything always brings the, well, it really should have been this guy. Everybody crapped on Bill Belichick for the most part, but now that we got a coach that is not a winner as a head coach and nobody really thought about in this process, now everybody wish they had Bill Belichick. Make up your mind, man. I wanted Bill Belichick from the very beginning because he knew how to win titles. So this is just disgraceful. It's embarrassing. Congratulations to Raheem Morris for getting his... Uh, head coaching opportunity here. I hope he succeeds here. And when I mean succeed, I don't want to play off and get eliminated. I've already seen that with Dan Reeves, Jim Mora, Mike Smith, Dan Quinn. The only head coach in Arthur Blank's tenure, aside of Katrina, I don't count that debacle, that has not made the playoffs was Arthur Smith. So I've already seen playoffs, NFC Championship game, wild card games, divisionals, Super Bowls, well, but we've lost. We haven't won a ring. To me, a success is not Raheem Morris making the playoffs in the first year and just losing in the playoffs. No, it's about winning a Super Bowl. You think Bill Belichick cares about going to the playoffs and losing? No, he wants a ring. He's got six of them as a head coach. We got zero. Look at our fingers. What do we got besides fingers and thumbs? That's all we got is fingers and thumbs. Fingers and thumbs. Right? It's Super Bowl for me. At this time in my life, it's winning rings. And in my opinion, we failed. And in the opinion of most Falcon fans in my comment section, whether they agreed with me on the Bill Belichick thing or not, 99% of them say that I'm right, that the Falcons failed getting Raheem Morris. Only the yes people and the dumb content creators and the dumb Falcon fans and the media who are just absolutely retarded, dumb, like this hire. There's nobody, nobody can come into my comment section and tell me that they actually wanted Raheem Morris. If you did want Raheem Morris, then you're clearly delusional. There's really no Falcons fan that could tell me that they had Raheem Morris on their radar and they wanted Raheem Morris from the beginning and they're happy with this signing. How can you be with all the, uh, with all the uh, knowledge I dropped at the beginning of this video. It's utterly ridiculous, you know, but I mean, it is what it is. Falcons or Falcons organization are stupid. Arthur Blank is dumber than rocks. Um, and here we go again with, I hope he does it. We haven't learned a damn thing, man. Arthur Blank hasn't learned a damn thing. You know, I drive by Home Depot every day. I barely go in. But if I, if, I, if I ever have to get wood or paint or anything like that, I'm going to go to Lowe's. Yep, I'm going to L-O-W-E, Lowe's. I, 
I'm serious. No, if you're a diehard Falcons fan, every time you go to Home Depot, you're giving money to Arthur Blank. And I like Arthur Blank. I really do. I have supported him since he got here. But something is wrong with this man when it comes to football. So I will no longer be shopping at Lame Depot. I will not be shopping at Lame Depot again. I am disgusted with this signing. I am very disappointed in the signing. I am aggravated with the signing. I am mad. I'm decombobulated. I'm confused. I don't understand it. But it's an Atlanta thing. It is what we do. And we're going to have to deal with it again. But expect a press conference in three, four years on the firing of Raheem Morris, and we'll still have no rings. I want to be wrong, but I don't see it happening. Like, comment, subscribe. Almost at 4K. I'll see you guys later.